Assalamualaikum salam miss. Okay. So far so good. Very good. Maybe I don't like most people. Okay, so today we are going to uh, do tutorial discussion for 2.2 and 2.3. Okay. So we will start with our notes and the examples and exercises then. So the first example is an exercise yang we will discuss is I think that table lah, that table, okay, this table or uh, where you have your principal quantum number N, your angular momentum L, subshell M, magnetic quantum number, electron spin S, number of orbitals in subshell and the maximum number of electrons in shell n. So let's answer this together so you guys can um now up that mic so you can write it in your videos again. So I can pass up okay. Right. So for the okay for the first shell we have n equals to 1, okay, ni n equals to 1 and then angular momentum here akan zero because L is equal to maximum sekali n minus 1, zero lepas n minus 1 so kalau 1 minus 1 memang awak dapat zero je lah, okay so your subshell will be 1x, mana awak dapat 1x, 1 is from your principal quantum number, s will be from your um, L equals to 0. So when L is equals to 0, that means you have S shape orbit, I mean S orbital. Yes, spherical shape. Okay, so that's why you get 1S. For M, your magnetic quantum number, that tells you how many orientations you have. If you have one value, that means you only have one orientation. Okay, so itu adalah 0. This one depends on your L. Okay, kalau ada 0 je, that means 0 je lah. Electron spin awal, it will be, uh, we have 2, okay? either 1 plus 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 2, okay? So I want you to write it this way instead of writing it like this, supaya macam dalam, bila tu ni set of quantum number, tak bila tu is plus minus, so okay? it's going to be plus half or minus half, okay? Salah satu. Number of orbitals in subshell. This one, dari mana awak dapat? Mana awak refer to this? Magnetic quantum. M, from M. Betul. M, okay, betul. So you will look at how many values of M you have. Right? So ni satu je. Because awak ada zero saja. So ada satu je lah orbital dalam awak punya subshell 1M. So bila awak tulis, um, in case orbital diagram, awak punya orbital diagram ialah 1s Okay, ini adalah subshell Lepas so, awak ada satu kotak orbital So this is the number of orbital lah ini. Okay, alright So maximum number of electrons in shell n will be 2 Okay, 2 because 1 orbital Okay, this one box can occupy up to 2 electrons so maksudnya maximum number of electrons dalam 1s subshell ni okay, dalam first shell awak which ada satu s je will be 2. Okay, awak boleh simpan 2 electron dalam ni. Okay, so that is shell, the first shell and it goes to 1 and it's double 1. So, then move on to shell 2. Okay. Principal quantum number 2. Okay, for this one, apa jawapan dia? Apa magnetic quantum number when you have 2s? Zero. 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 Okay, good. Zero. Okay, because um, L is equals to zero, so dapat zero je lah. Okay, then next subshell untuk this one, subshell for this one, apa? 
apa panggil dia? Apa nama dia? Tu tu apa? Tu pi. Tu pi. Is tu pi, okay? Tu pi because p is when l is equals to 1. Tu dapat daripada the number of n. Okay? So ini tu tu pi dapat dari sini. Yes. So maybe saya lagi ingat kan? is it? So yang ni plus half or minus half and then you will have three orbitals in subshell. Ini tengok dari mana? Daripada M awal. Okay. So kat sini ada satu, dua, tiga value. So maksudnya awak ada tiga orbital lah. So bila awak lukis orbital diagram for 2P, okay, contoh saya lukis ni 2P, awak ada tiga kotak. Okay. Or basically three orbitals. Okay. So ini refer to setiap ni. Minus one, zero dengan plus one. Okay. That's why I did three orbitals in the subshell 2P. Alright. Okay. So the maximum number of electrons in shell 2 will be 8 because you will have 2 electrons in your 2s orbital and you will have 6 electrons in your 2p orbital. Okay, so setiap kotak can occupy up to 2 electrons. So since you have 3 orbitals or 3 boxes, you times 2, you will get Alright, next one. Ini boleh tak kita buat laju sikit untuk tiga angular momentum L tu apa? Zero. 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 One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, lepas tu yang ni arah subshell dia is? 3S. 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 3P. 3D. 3S. 3P. 3D. Yes, very good. So the magnetic quantum number will be zero. 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 Negative one, negative, negative one, one, negative one, zero, positive one. Plus one. Okay, next, you will get minus two, minus one, one, zero, zero one, plus one, plus two. Plus one, plus two. Very good. So, ini sama je lah. Ini saya tak nak tulis lah. Ni awak tahu. Yang ni, awak punya number of orbitals in subshell. Eight. You have? No, yang ni. One. One, three, 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 five, 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 five. Okay, very good. So maximum three. number of electrons. Kat sini dapat dua, kat sini dapat enam, kat sini dapat sepuluh. Sampur dapat? Eighteen. Dapat eighteen plus three. Alright. Okay, for this one, zero, one, two, three. And so you get four S, four P, four D and four F. Tapi for F, uh, I mean F orbital kita nak belajar eh, dia punya shape Dia just um, boleh tahu berapa banyak elektron dalam dia So yang ni, this one will be 0 Will be plus 1, 0, minus 1 Plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 This one will be plus 3, plus 2, plus 1 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, okay. Then, ni sama je. Okay, kat sini kita dapat 1, 3, 5. So, kat sini berapa? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Get 7, okay. So, that 1, this one you will get 7 times 2, 14. So, 14 plus 18 dapat berapa? Maximum number of electrons in cell 4? 4 cell? 32. 32. 32. Okay, very good. Alright. So, that is how you um, know the maximum numbers of electrons in your cell. Okay. So, benda ni penting lah. This is like the basic concept for you in any in this Right? Okay, so next. Yang ni. 
Jawapan mana yang saya tak bagi? C and D. C and D. Okay. So for C, when n is equals to zero, ada ke n equals to zero? No. 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 Okay. L equals to one. So daripada side pun kita dah tahu is this allowed or not? Not no. allowed. Not, not, not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Okay. Because um, n should not equal to not should not be zero, but n can be one, two, three, and so on sampai infinity. Okay, so that's how you answer it. Or bagi tahu not allowed because of what? Which quantum number? And then what it should be, right? D, when n is equals to four, can your l be equal to one? Yes. Yes. Okay. So maksudnya when n is equals to four, your l can be equal to zero. Zero one two three. One. Zero one two three. Yes, betul. Okay. So dia boleh ada satu dua tiga empat shape ni. Okay, dalam awak punya fourth shell. Okay, so your m can equal to, since kita tengok yang ni kan, kita tengok l equals to one. So your m can equal to negative one zero one. Negative one zero plus one. Negative one zero and plus one. So that means this is allowed lah m equals to zero. Your s equals to minus half boleh? Boleh. Boleh, okay. So this is, this quantum number, this address allowed. is allowed. Okay. Allowed. Alright, so bagi tahu tu lah. Okay. Next, opening exercise, I think um, soalan ni kan? Sama dengan soalan tutorial awak kan? Betul tak? Betul tak? Macam. Sama. Sama. Macam kan? Sama kan? Yes. So, kita tak discuss sekarang eh? So, number two, what are the similar similarities and differences between a 1S and a 2S orbital? Apa yang similar, apa yang different? Okay. 1S orbital, bentuk dia ialah Sphere. Right? Yes, yeah, spherical. Yeah. Okay, so you have X exists, Y exists, and Z exists. So, saya suka um, place saya punya, lukis saya punya axis macam tu. So this is your sphere, okay. So this is 1S, right. So 2S orbital nampak dia macam mana. Ini saya just, saya just tunjuk eh. Apakah perbezaan dia? Apa yang sama? Dia punya bentuk sama tak? Sama. Yes, sama. Sama. Saiz tak sama. sama. Saiz tak sama. So, dia lebih besar, okay. Dia lebih besar lah. Okay. okay, so this is your 2S. So, 1S and 2S orbitals, they have the same? Same? Same shape. Same shape, but 1S orbital has a smaller size than 2S orbital. Okay. So, satu lagi benda yang berbeza is apa? Tadi you know. Kalau size berbeza and dia berbeza, apa lagi yang berbeza? Larger energy. Okay. Who has larger energy? 2S. 2S. So 2S orbitals have higher energy than 1S orbitals. Okay. So that is the similarity and differences. I'll check out the shape, size and energy. Okay, B. 2PX and 2PY. Okay. 2PX and 2PY. Both? Okay. 2PX and 2PY? Both are uh, dumbbell shape. Both are dumbbell shape. They have the same dumbbell shape. shape. Okay. Satu lagi eh. Same yeah. size, same energy. Yes, betul. So, 2PX and 2PY have the same size 
energy yang graceful and fit okay because dia punya L is similar to and the L is also similar one okay but apa yang berbeza to P at and to P Y what how are they different orientation yes they have different orientation okay different orientation in the region of space okay to be at and to be my orbitals are located at different axes okay so different orientation sama lah juga right okay next three Calculate the total number of electrons that can occupy one s orbital, three p orbitals, and five b at z orbital. Okay, ni dia nak total number of electrons that can occupy. Maksudnya dia nak maximum lah number of electrons. Kalau one s orbital, awak ada berapa elektron? Two. Two. Okay, good. Three. Three p orbitals. Maksudnya awak ada Six. Yeah. Six times have, three. Betul. Six times three. You have tiga kotak P orbital, okay? Maksudnya ni macam ni, N P. So, satu, P X, P Y, P Z. So, you have six. Eighteen. No, six electrons. So, dia kata three P orbitals. Three. Bukannya three P. Tapi kalau you pun 3p orbitals, you still have you still have a total of 6 electrons saja dalam awak punya orbitals. Faham? Oh, okay. Ya, ya, ya. Okay, so maksudnya dalam 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Dia bukan cakap dalam um, apa dalam search file. Okay, kalau search file dia tanya berapa banyak elektron, dia maksudnya awak campur semua. Kalau dia kata 3 P orbital saja, maksudnya inilah awak ada tiga kotak tu. 3 P orbital. Okay. So the total okay. is 6 elektron. Alright. Okay. Total number of electrons that can occupy 5 D X orbital. 5 D X Z orbital. 10. 10. 10 ke? 5. 5 D. 5 tu maksudnya awak punya principal quantum number. Maksudnya dia dekat the fifth shell. Okay. Dia dekat fifth shell. Okay. Dalam satu shell tu. So awak ada D orbital XZ tadi. So maksudnya okay. Kotak dia. Okay. Bila awak lukis D orbital punya orbital diagram. Okay, this is your 5D orbitals. Okay, ditanya, ditanya dalam D X Z saja. Ini 5D. Okay, 5D. Then you have five D at Y, five D at Z, five D Y Z. So you have five D at square Y square and five D Z square. Okay. Then. Uh, Okay, this is what you have. Okay, this is the name of each orbital. Okay, each 5D orbital. Okay, ini faham tak? 
Faham. Faham. Wow. Okay. Faham. Alright. So maksudnya dia nak elektron that can occupy 5Z at Z saja. Okay. Dua. So that means, yeah, dua. Okay. So bila awak fill in electrons, guna Hans rule principle, Pauli expression principle dengan Akbau. Okay, awak akan fill in one by one. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Lima kalau ada lima elektron. Kalau ada sepuluh elektron, dan enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Okay, so dalam 5D XZ, you can occupy up to two electron, okay? Okay, so your answer for this will be two, okay? Boleh? Okay. Boleh. Boleh, babe. Alright. So, it can be a little tricky, tapi lama-lama nanti awak akan faham lah. Okay, so apa lagi yang kita kena discuss daripada muka ni? Yang ni, yang ni boleh buat tak? Ini dia minta SPDF notation. Boleh. Eh. Boleh. Okay. So, carbon ada six electrons. Can you, can you guys tell me the answer? How do you write it? Carbon. 1S2. 2S2. 2S2. 2P2. 2P2. Okay. So, S orbital boleh fill up to two electrons. Sebab tu orang letak dua je sini. S orbital dua. And then lagi dua elektron, awak letak dalam 2P orbital. Okay. Your 2P orbital can fill up to six electrons. Tapi awak ada six electrons je total. So kat sini ada dua je lah. Alright. So bila awak campur, dua, dua, dua dapat enam lah. Okay. Next, nitrogen. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Okay. So that's for nitrogen. Oxygen. 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. 2p4. Okay. So that is your SPDF notation. Alright. SPDF notation. Kalau orbital diagram, lain lah pula. Kalau orbital diagram, awak lukis kotak. Lepas tu tulis 1s. Jangan letak dua eh kat sini. Kalau boleh letak dua ni salah. Okay, so jangan letak dua. Lepas tu awak just fill in lah elektron awak. Elektron awak kena double headed arrow. Okay. Tak boleh buat macam ni eh. Ini tak boleh. Salah. Buat macam ni. Okay. Sebab pernah ada satu tahun tu dalam exam dia uh, nak elektron double headed arrow. Bagi half headed arrow. Alright, so moving on, moving on, so this one, blah, blah, exercise, okay. Electronic configuration of cooling atoms and ions. Okay, okay. Ni maksudnya dia nak write, kita kena write. Write means you want the S, E, D, F, condition of. Okay. 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 Electrons because um, it is an atom. Okay. Yang bawah ni adalah number of proton awak. Proton 13. This is an atom. So you have 13 electrons. Okay. So the SPDF notation for AL will be 1s2, 2s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. S2, 3P1. Okay. So macam mana nak tahu the uh, arrangement of your orbitals ni it is by Akbar principle lah how you fill in your electrons. Alright. Oh I just realized my iPad just died.
Okay, so itu awak just fill in your electrons and then Al3 plus maksudnya awak akan tambah tiga elektron ke buang tiga elektron. Buang tiga elektron. Buang tiga. Buang tiga. Okay. Buang tiga. Because three plus means it's a cat ion. It has more protons than electrons. So we will remove three electrons. Okay. So which electron will we remove? We will remove the electrons from your CP and 3S2 orbitals. Okay. So, awak can remove 3 electron. So, then your answer will be 1S2, 2S2, 2P6. Alright. Okay. So, next. So, sekarang ni, kalau awak tengok, okay, awak punya AL3+, dia punya electronic configuration will be the same as neon. It will be the same as neon. Next, seven chloride, chlorine atom. 1s2, 2s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 2p5, 3p5. So, when you have chlorine ion, chloride ion, sorry, chloride ion, you have a minus one charge, that means you will Add or remove one electron? One. Plus. Huh? Add one electron. Yeah, add. Okay. Awak akan plus. Awak tambah satu electron. So, yeah. So, you will remove the electron. Eh, sorry. You will add electron to your 3P orbital. Five. Yeah. So, maximum number of electrons your 3P orbital can occupy is 6. So, bila awak tambah satu elektron, okay, you will get 3p6 which means that your orbital is fully filled lah for 3p, okay? Okay. Oh, dah habis. Alright, so now we're going to go to our tutorial. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, man. Okay, good. So, Um, sikit je kan kita punya soalan tutorial ni? Ya. Yeah. Kamu boleh buat tak? Boleh. I think. Boleh me. Okay kan? Okay. Boleh. So rasa cepat je kita habiskan bila kita even though kita bincang tu. So let's do it together. So number one. This is 2.2. Give one set of quantum numbers for an electron in 2s, 4p, and 3d orbitals. So we will start with 2s. Kita nak bagi one set of quantum numbers for an electron. So maksudnya, kita ada Okay, so terang-terang dia bagi tahu dia nak one set of quantum numbers saja maksudnya bagi one set je lah. Okay, so for 2s, okay, kalau, okay, maksudnya kita akan start macam mana? How do we give the address of your electron? Start from N. N, L, N, L, N, L, N, S. S. N, S. Okay, you can write like this. So, let's start with one address. So, n will equals to berapa? Two. 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 L? Zero. Zero. Zero because you have, apa? You have? S orbital. S, S orbital. orbital. Okay, ni awak punya n. S orbital, maksudnya dia spherical shape. So, L equals to zero. Then, M, M or what? One. Zero. Uh, eh, zero. zero. Sorry, sorry. Zero. Okay. <laughs> zero. So, zero because M will depend on L. L. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, zero saja. Bila awak ada S orbital, output M will only go to zero. No other orientation. Okay. 
Okay, your half, your your spin. One over two. Positive half. Plus one over two. Plus one over two. Boleh tak saya tulis plus minus one over two? No. no. Tak. tak boleh, okay? Tak boleh. Two so, electron. awak tulis satu saja. Because kita nak for one electron. Okay. So, bila awak bagi set of quantum numbers, it has to be specific. Alright, specific to one electron. Okay. Kalau awak imagine eh, elektron ni, okay, maksudnya bila awak nak cari elektron ni, awak tahu dia dekat dalam second shell, okay, second shell so macam awak tahu lah contohnya quantum size dia macam size, satu size, satu specific size, lepas tu dia L equals to zero, maksudnya dia S orbital, so dia bulat, okay, so ni tu S, Y, Z Lepas tu, dia ada satu orientation saja because dia S orbital and then let's say dia ada plus half spin so maknanya awak tahu lah yang dia akan rotate clockwise okay. So, boleh tak bagi jawapan lain? Selain yang ni? Boleh Boleh Boleh, boleh. Okay. And also give or give me another jawapan and LMS. We have to write this to so two zero zero. Tapi sekarang dia punya spin yang berlainan. Okay? Minus negative. Half. Yes, negative. So maksudnya dia spin anti-clockwise. Okay, the electron spin anti-clockwise. So clockwise. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's to us. And to coffee, awak akan ada possibility. Possible answer. Eight. Eight. Four. No. Okay, okay, Zen. possible set of quantum numbers? How many? Five. No. Oops. Okay. Kalau dalam four p, four p orbital, awak boleh ada berapa? Dalam p orbital, awak ada berapa kotak? Tiga. Tiga. Oh, okay. enam. Yeah. Oh, six. Six possible set of quantum numbers for that electron. Okay. So, boleh bagilah. N, L, M, S equals to So, depan dia mesti four. Four. One. Why? One. Because Zero. Okay, it can zero. be zero. It can be zero, can be negative one. Negative one, one and plus, plus one. Plus one. Okay. Lagi. Next. At S. Negative plus one over two or positive one, one over two. two. Positive one okay. over two. So, maksudnya ni saya tulis lah dia punya possible answers. Four, one. Ini memang four, one. Ini four, one. Okay. Then this one can be plus half. Ini plus half. Okay. Okay. So this this is baru tiga. Okay. Tapi awak bagi satu je tau. Ini saya tulis semua jawapan dia supaya kalau ada yang buat lain. Then tak tahulah jawapan nak betul ke tak. So this one lagi satu. So what do I do? I will padam. Um, so this is yang this version yang anti clockwise, right? Um, so the or 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 if okay. so antara enam pula. Yang betul lah, okay? Right? Or, okay, you can also write your answer as N equals to 4, L equals to 0, okay, sorry, L equals to 1, M equals to 0, S equals to plus half. Okay, or boleh tulis dalam this um, format juga. 3D, awak akan ada berapa 
Sepuluh Ten Betul So, we can have ten Different answers, okay So, yang penting is that N, L, M, S Close to Three Three, two Zero Zero Plus half Atau, masa buat lain-lain juga Okay, yang ni Agak-agak boleh tak dapat semua jawapan dia betul? Boleh? Boleh Okay, boleh eh? So, boleh Ini plus one Ini plus half So, ada three, two And LM Plus two Plus half And three, two, minus two, plus half. So another five. Negative. Okay, the negative here. Yeah, okay. So antara sepuluh ni lah jawapan awak okay Sebab dia minta one set saja. So make sure you give just one set So next number two Which of the following orbitals are allowed? Ada dua je orbital yang allowed here Which one? 7S and 4P 7S and 4P Okay so this one and this one is allowed 2D, why is it not allowed? Because? Because D is 2. Because D is 2. So, the way for you to explain me, okay, walaupun yang it ni cannot be 2. It can only be 0 or 1. Okay, so when N is equal to 2, L will, can only equal to 0 and 1. So, it should not be uh, L should not be 2 when N is equals to 2. It can only be 0 and 1. Okay, so thank you Brandon. That's how you answer that one. So for 3F pun, dia not allowed because when N is equal to 3, okay, your L can only equal to 0, 1 and 2. Okay, so it should, it should not be, kalau F berapa? Kalau F, L equals to berapa? 3. 3, so L cannot equal to 3, it should be 0, 1 and 2 when N is equal to 3. So, 4P is allowed, right? Because uh, kalau awak tulis lah, dia punya possible values for N equals to 4, blah, 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 blah. You will find that you can have L is equals to 1. Okay? Next, B. For each set of quantum numbers, set A, B, C. State the name of your orbitals. Okay, what are the names of your orbitals? For A, B, and C. 2s. A is 2s because n is equals to 2 and l is equals to 0. Okay. B, someone else? 3D. Like Brandon? Berapa, Eva? 3D. 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 Okay, betul. So that is 3D because 3, your n, this is your l. Okay. And then C is 5. 5P. Okay, 5P. Okay. Good, thank you. Next, number two. How many orbitals in each set? Sebenarnya dia nak tahu berapa orbital dalam 2S subshell. Sub berapa? Dua. Dua orbital. Maksudnya dua kotak. Okay, so 2S. Maksudnya dia ada. Eh, apa ni? 
Masalahlah dengan dia punya alamat rumah ni Okay, memang wujud So, number four Element is calcium Find the number of electrons with Principal quantum number Equals to four So, the first thing we should do is to Write, write down up. the SPDF notation Or draw your orbital diagram So, calcium has 20 electrons. Betul tak calcium atom? Betul? Yeah. Betul. Okay, so what is the SPDF notation? Boleh beritahu saya? 1S? 1S, 2S, 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 so you have your SPDF notation and now we will draw our orbital diagram juga supaya awak lebih clear. So just write down the name of your orbital. Okay, saya dah buat setiap-setiap kotak tu. 3, 6 and 4S. 
to fill in your electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So if you notice, I am applying all the three rules when I am filling in my electrons. Okay, supaya dia supaya dapat number of electrons yang betul lah dalam setiap rumah dia. Okay, so now for number one, principal quantum number n equals to four. Dia nak tahu ada berapa elektron with n equals to four. Two. Two elektron. Two electrons because, okay, that's how I cari. n equals to four, you see that you have four s orbital sizes and in there, you have two electrons. So your answer is Number two, angular momentum quantum number L equals to one. L equals to one maksudnya apa? What shape is that? In P orbital. P orbital, okay. So awak cari P orbital awak, awak ada 2P dengan 3P. So dalam 2P dengan 3P awak ada 6 dengan 6 elektron. So you will get 12 elektron. 12 electrons. very good. So number three, magnetic quantum number, m equals to zero, m equals to zero. So for this one, okay, um, how are we going 12. to find that? Yes, you will get 12. How do you get 12? You will look where? At your? First orbital. N orbital and uh, no. P orbital. Yes, okay. So you will look at your orbital diagram, okay. So, kat sini, ada tak M equals to zero? Ada kan? Ada. Bila S orbital, M equals to zero kat sini. Dua-dua ni M equals to zero. Dua-dua ni M equals to zero. Kat sini, berapa kotak je yang equals to zero? Satu. Satu saja, okay. So, let's pick this one. Okay, so ni M equals to zero. So ni S orbital memang M equals to zero. For 3P, satu kotak juga. For S, yang ni. Okay, so kalau kira semua awak akan dapat 12 lah. Right, ada 6 kotak. Dan kali 2, 12 elektron. Next, spin quantum number. S equals to minus half. So maksudnya dia, let's say it is your anti-clockwise lah. Atau clockwise. So, so awak lah awak nak pilih yang mana. So in this case, you will, let's say kalau saya cakap S equals to minus half tu adalah spin down. So maksudnya kita akan kira semua our electrons yang spin down. Okay. So that means Ten. how many electrons you have? Ten electrons. Ten. Ten electrons. Okay. Alright. So that is your number of electrons. Okay. Next, draw the shape of of the orbitals when n equals to 3. So, draw the shape when shape of orbitals when n is equals to 3. What shapes do we have? What are we going to look at? Your possible values for L. L. So, like, kita nak tahu shape kan? Kan? So, we will yeah. Yeah. down Ada L equals to berapa? So this is for element calcium, right? So that means, okay, you have to refer to calcium punya electronic configuration lah. Okay, jangan lah tulis, jangan lah pakai karam je, lebih semua. Okay, so what how we draw? Kita ada when N is equals to 3. Yeah. Awak akan tengok is 2. 3S dengan 3P. Betul tak? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you will draw 3S orbital okay, dengan 3P orbital. Okay. So maksudnya awak kena draw for L equals to 1 ni N equals to L equals to 1 dengan L equals to, eh sorry, 
L equals to zero, then L equals to one lah. Okay. Okay, ni S orbital. Ini P orbital. Okay. Okay, so. Saya harap awak ada kira nak lukis. Saya lukis kan tau awak. Kau ada bulat. Kau ada X exist. Kau ada Y exist. Dengan Z exist. Okay. So this is your P S. And then you have P P. Maksudnya awak ada tiga P orbitals. So I'm going to draw. X, Y, Z. Okay. So my X is, it must be consistent okay, for all my drawing. Alright, jangan tukar-tukar macam tiba-tiba ini Y, ini X. So make sure it is consistent lah kalau awak lukis macam ni, lukis macam ni je. Please. Okay. Okay. Right. So then I'm going to draw in my P orbital. Let's say this is P P X, P P Y, and P P Z. So P P X, L equals to one is dumbbell shape. So just draw your dumbbell shape, then shade it in. Okay. So P P X, P P Y. Okay, awak lukis lah cantik-cantik. Hmm, jangan, kalau macam ni, salah tau. Salah. Make sure dia punya size sama. PPZ. Okay. Alright. So that's how you draw your orbitals. Kalau di orbitals pula, dia lebih banyak lah. Okay. Depending on how many elect. Okay. Okay, next. Miss. Miss. Huh? Yes. Why for this one we don't have 3D orbital? Why? Because because we are referring to calcium punya number of electrons. So, ada 20 saja. So, when you fill in your electrons here, okay, you are only filling in your 3S and 3P orbitals. So, tak cukup elektron pun nak fill in dekat dalam 3D. Kalau awak ada lagi satu elektron, then adalah 3D kena fill in. Okay? Faham tak? Bukan kita kena fill in 3D dulu sebelum 4S lah? Bukan. Bukan. Because you are following Akbal principle. Okay? Akbal principle says yang 4S orbital has lower energy than 3D orbital. So, maksudnya memang awak akan fill in 4S dulu baru 3D. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Thank so you, Miss. Okay, no problem. So, that is following Akbal principle, okay? Akbal principle gives you the arrangement, okay, increasing order, arrangement of your orbital energy. Awak akan fill in dari lowest to highest. So, dia punya arrangement tu um, bukannya 3S, 3P, 3D baru 4S. Tapi it is 3S, 3P, 4S, 3D. Okay. So, memang ada specific arrangement lah. Alright. So, we're going to move on to 2.3. Okay. So, baru kita cakap pasal Akbar principle. So, what does Akbar principle say? Someone? It states that electrons are filled in the orbital in order of increasing energy. It okay. means that electrons should occupy the orbital with the lowest energy before occupying the one with higher energy. Okay, that's true. So, maksudnya, yeah, uh, apa pun itu ni bagi awak yang bagi awak fill in electron, you will fill in daripada lower energy orbital to higher energy orbital. Yang tu dia punya definition awak boleh cari kot dekat dalam nota. Okay, sama je. Hans Rule pula, someone else, Brandon? 
please give me the definition of Hazru. Hazik. Hazik, burden, ko, mayo, ba, lagi. Saya lami. Ah, Hans Rule states that when electrons are added to the op orbital of equivalent energy or degenerate orbitals, each orbital are filled singly with electron of the same spin before it is placed. It is there. The electron in half this orbital have the same spin that it, that is parallel spin. Okay. So it's just the first part yang second sentence tu is actually your explanation lah okay. So contohnya degenerate orbitals atau orbitals of equivalent energy maksudnya energy dia sama is like let's say your p orbitals okay. So p orbitals awak ada p x, p y, p z okay. p y, p z atau d orbital juga ini adalah two orbitals. Okay, two orbitals. Okay, so you have p x y d y z d x z d x square y square and d z square. So these are your d orbitals. Okay, yang duduk sama-sama ni maksudnya dia adalah uh, they have equivalent energy. We are called degenerate orbitals. Sama, dia punya energy sama. Okay, contoh. So, tapi P dengan D ni tak sama lah. Ni berbeza. D lebih tinggi lah energy dia. Okay. So, bila awak fill in electrons, Hansu kata, you will fill in singly first. Macam saya cakap, macam dalam bus. Awak ada dua tempat duduk kat satu dua tu, mestilah awak duduk um, korang-korang je kat situ. Okay, lepas tu the next person dia akan duduk kat um, apa tempat yang kosong seterusnya. Dia tak duduk sebelah awak. Okay. So maksudnya awak akan fill in singly first. So, contohnya macam ni satu, dua, tiga and then the next electron masuk barulah dia pair up. Dia terpaksa duduk sama sama. Okay. Macam ni pun you will fill in singly first and then you will pair up. Okay. So kalau awak tengah fill in full lah of electron. Okay. So next police exclusion principle. Someone else? Yes miss. Yes please. Okay. Uh, Pauli exclusion principle is uh, no two electrons in an atom can have the same for quantum numbers. Okay betul. So for Pauli exclusion principle Maksudnya awak punya N, L, M, S dalam satu atom tak boleh sama. Contohnya kalau awak ada 5 electrons in an atom, okay, all 5 electrons will have a unique different set of quantum numbers. Maksudnya tak ada yang akan sama. Right? So that means okay, dalam awak punya kotak orbital tu tak boleh ada elektron with the same spin. Okay? Dia kena different. Dia kena different. Satu atas, satu bawah. Um, because Pauli said awak punya NLMS mesti berbeza. Okay? Kalau awak lukis macam ni kan same spin Maksudnya NLMS awak akan sama lah. NLMS awak akan sama. Contoh um, satu kosong kosong plus half. Okay. Satu lagi pun satu kosong kosong plus half. So benda ni tak boleh jadi. Okay. This one cannot happen. Cannot happen. So dia kena berbeza. Satu plus half, satu minus half. Okay, next number two. Write the electronic configuration for the following atoms or ions using SPDF notation and orbital diagram. So for sodium, sodium has 11 protons. So since it is an atom here, tak ada charge. 
you will have 11 electrons. So that means your SPDF notation will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. 3s1. Okay, good. Okay. So you have 11 electrons. So fill in your electron accordingly. Dalam S orbital boleh ada 2. Dalam P orbital boleh ada maximum 6. Okay. So ini satu je lah sebab kita ada 11 elektron. So to draw your orbital diagram, you will basically write down 1s, 2s, 2p and 3s. So 1s, satu kotak because it is s orbital, satu je orientation. And then p, you have three orientations. So ada tiga kotak. 3s, ada satu orientation. So you will fill in your electrons, 11 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1 more, 11. Okay, so that's how. So next, sodium plus, plus. So maksudnya awak ada berapa electron ni? Berapa elektron? Sebelas ke? Ten. 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 Okay. Ten elektron. Sebab awak ada plus charge. That means you have more protons than elektron. So buang satu elektron. So your electronic, your SPDF notation will be 1S, 2, 2S, 2, 2P6. Ada 3S1 tak? No. 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 Okay. You already remove one elektron. No from your 3S orbital. Ni dari ni for sodium plus. So yang ni maksudnya jawapan dia ni lah D ekor pinta. Alright. Next we have chlorine atom. Okay. What is the SPDF notation? Yes. Hello? 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 6 3 s 2 3 3 s 2 3 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s 2 3 s Muat ke dalam satu tempat? Jadi awak tulis, awak tulis ni lah. Kering 17. 2P6, 3S, 2 and 3P5. Electrons, 1, 2, 5 in Five electrons in two orbitals. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that is your chlorine atom. Punya orbital diagram. So if you have chloride ion, Cl minus. What will we do? Add or remove electrons. Add one. Electron. Add electrons. Okay. Add one. Yes. So you will add one to your three orbital. So this will be 3P6 okay. and then your orbital diagram pun okay. Okay. So you will add one more electron in the future orbital Okay, alright So next Explain the NMA and Anomalous electronic configuration in chromium and copper. Okay. Okay. Ini kita nak explain ni. Anomalous tu maksudnya apa? Anomalous maksudnya apa? Kasama. Special case. Special case. Unique. Luar biasa. Maksudnya, in this case, for electronic configuration ni, 
Awak punya chromium dan copper does not follow the Akbar principle. Okay. Kalau kita ikut Akbar principle, okay, kita punya electronic configuration adalah begini. Lepas tu, tapi sebenarnya actual electronic configuration untuk chromium dan copper awak berbeza. So how are we going to explain this? Okay. First kita bagi tahu the reason for your anomalous uh, electron configuration. Okay. Reason. Inconsistent with Akbar principle. Yes, betul tu. So it is inconsistent with Okay, jap reason. Cool lah, ayat tu dia bagi. Electron configuration of chromium and copper are inconsistent Maksudnya dia tak ikut with alpha principle due to apa? Kenapa dia tak ikut alpha principle ni? Due to what special stability dia ada? Stability of orbital orbital okey um, apa specific orbital half half field orbital okay. orbit half and partially in partially block half field and fully atau completely fully filled 3d orbital So it's because of that. So that is first the reason. Apa lagi awak nak explain? What else? What else? Half filled we... orbitals is more stable than partially filled. Okay. Lepas tu kita akan berikan dia punya. Um, expected electron configuration dengan actual electron configuration. Okay. So you give the um, expected electron configuration okay, of let's say chromium. Okay. Ini ikut akbau principle. Okay. So this will be berapa untuk chromium? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4. 4s2, 3d4. Okay. So this is what is expected. While the actual electronic configuration of chromium okay, will be copy this whole thing. Okay. Ni awak boleh buat table lah. 4S apa? Dia adalah half field stability. 4S1. 4S1, 3D5. 3D5. Betul. So maksudnya, actually, elektron yang dalam 4S ni, bukannya duduk, one of the electrons don't sit in 4S lah. Actually, elektron tu dia duduk dalam 3D5. A 3D orbital. Okay. So that you have a half field um, Half field 3D orbital. Okay, this is because half field 3D orbital of chromium is more stable than a partially 
field PD orbital. Okay. Boleh? Boleh. Okay, boleh ya. So, do um, the same for copper. Okay, maksudnya awak just suka ini copper. Pasal tulis copper punya electronic configuration yang betul. So, instead of 4S, 2D, 4. Apa copper punya? For, for expect. 1S2, 1S2, 3 1 S2, 2 S2, 2 P6, 3 S2, 3 P6, 4 S2, 3 D9. 4 S2, 3 D9. So yang belakang dia for actual electronic navigation will be? 4 S1 and 2 D10. Okay, 4 S1, 3 D10. So apa yang awak akan buka, dekat sini je lah. Fully filled 3 D orbital of copper is more stable than partially filled 3D orbital. Okay? Boleh? Boleh. Okay, very good. Boleh. So, how many unpaired electrons found in actual configuration of chromium? So, macam kita akan tengok the... Ini the, 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 the electron configuration of chromium. Actual, actual. Okay. Ini okay, actual configuration of chromium. So untuk nampak lebih clear, saya sharekan awak untuk lukis awak punya orbital diagram. 1s, 2s, 2d, 2s. For S, sorry, CP. For S and CD. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'll go next. To the left, to the left. Miss Copper ke Chromium? Oh, sorry. Copper lah. Okay, okay Miss. Thank you. Okay. Then you just have the sapphire. Just now you can see that one. And this is copper. Okay. Copper. So, the for S berapa tadi? For S1, 3D9 eh? Eh, sorry. For S1, 3D10. For S1, 3D10. Okay, so fill in your electrons. For S1, 3D10. Tak payah apa yang lukis ni? Tak payah apa yang Give the possible value of N, L, N of your Okay, how many unfed electron found in actual? Oh, okay, sorry. Ini skema ni bagi soalan lain. So, give the possible value of NLM of said electron in actual configuration of copper. So, zero, zero. Okay, so it will be the said electron in copper. Okay. Maksudnya, which electron is that? The first electron in the 2s orbital. Okay, so it's the first electron in 2s orbital. So that means it's this one electron 
part tu ni maksudnya n awak equals to 2 2 l equals to 0 0 m equals to 0 0 ok so itulah awak punya possible value boleh tak value lain Boleh tak? No, oh, because okay. S is zero. Okay, because S is zero. Okay, so M awak memang zero je lah because bila L equals to zero, M equals to zero saja. Okay, okay. lagi. Ada lagi soalan? Tak ada lah kan? Ada da, objektif saja tinggal kan? Alright. Habis tak? So now we go to our objective question. Okay. Okay. So number one kita dah bincang. So number two. Electronic configuration of copper atom is this. Determine the number of electrons in copper atom at its ground state if the azimuthal quantum number L is equal to zero. So maksudnya daripada this electronic configuration berapa banyak elektron dalam copper in ground state with L equals to zero. L equals to zero maksudnya what orbital? S orbital. S, S orbital. So awak kira berapa banyak elektron yang dalam S orbital? Seven. 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 Okay so your answer will be A. Alright. So next, number three. Eh, sorry, number four. Four, number four. Which of the following represents an electron in 3p orbital? C. 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 Because 3, maksudnya N equals to G. C, maksudnya L is equal to 1. Okay. Yang lain ni salah lah. For which element does its ground state atom have the greater number of unpaid electrons? So yang ni awak kena buat apa? Awak kena draw apa? Dia kata ground state atom kan? So maksudnya the number of electrons is equal to number of electrons. Awak kena lukis dia punya, awak kena tulis dia punya Orbital diagram atau SPDF notation. So jawapan awak apa? B. 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 Berapa dapat lapan? Unpaired. Okay. Dia ada empat unpair. Yeah. Okay. Half the greater number of unpaired electron. B. Saya tanya. You sure? C. Yeah. C. Jawapan dia C awak. Jawapan dia R. So. C bukan kurang saja ke? Ha? Okay let's let's write the SPDF notation. So tadi antara titanium dengan iron kan? So titanium, kita buat titanium dengan iron dah. 1S2, 2S2, 3P6, 3S2, 3P6. 3B, 2, 4S, 2. For titanium. 3D, 2, 4S, 2. Kenapa dia buat macam tu? Sebab awak akan fill in elektron dalam 4S dulu, baru 3D. So, I would rather write, I would rather write 4S, 2, 3D, 2. And then, iron will be 1S, 2, 2S, 2, 2. Oh, saya terignore 4S lah. Haa. Eh, saya telah letak 3D. Haa, okay. 3D6, 3D6, 3D6. Okay, so, ya. Yang sampai sini, sampai 4S tu dah fully fill lah. Dekat 3D ni, kat sini ada berapa anti electrons. Ni ada berapa? Bila lukis. Kan? Kotak dia ada lima kan? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Okay, 3D. Let's say 3D tu maksudnya elektron dia satu, dua. So ada two unpaired electrons for titanium. Two unpaired electrons. So 
for iron, we have 3D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ada 4 inside the electron. Okay. So, the answer will be iron because it has the greater number of unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons maksudnya dia seorang-seorang juga di sini bawah. Okay. Okay, Miss. Okay. So, next, number six. Electronic configuration of helium is that the order of electron removal removal in the formation of helium P plus is okay, awak can remove which electron. So, what I will do is say please for S dengan 4P okay then P1, 2, 1 electron. So first electron yang awak akan remove, awak akan remove dari daripada siapa? 4P. 4P. Okay so awak remove yang ni dulu. So first electron is 4P. Second electron are the ones from 4S orbital. 4S. So, answer, yes betul. So the answer is B. Okay. So, you will remove electron starting from the Remove electron Highest end Okay, so remove electron from highest end Okay, outermost shell Dia yang paling kat luar, elektron yang duduk kat luar sekali Dia lah yang kena buang dulu, dia, dia lah yang kena attack tak selamat Okay, seven, number seven which of the following does not obey poly exclusion principle? So poly exclusion principle cakap apa? Poly exclusion principle. Feel singly. No two electrons can have the same four quantum numbers. Same four quantum numbers. Okay, thank you. So yang no two electron ni boleh ada sama alamat rumah. Dia kena duduk, dia kena berbeza. Semua kena beza. Okay, so sekarang ni maksudnya yang mana tu yang tak follow poly exclusion principle? Eh, kenapa? Yo, which one? Which one? B, okay. B ke C? C. 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 Okay. C because if you look here, okay, this electron and this electron will have the same N, L, N, S. The same set of quantum numbers. This one and Make this one in. pun sama juga. So tak boleh lah, okay. Kalau ikut poly, patutnya awak punya electron dalam kotak ni. Okay, awak okay, punya macam mana? Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So, maksudnya, ni dengan ni lain dia punya set of quantum number. Ni dengan ni pun lain. Okay. Tapi dia berbeza. So, jawapan dia C. Number 8. An atom containing 8 electrons and 3D orbital are arranged according to benda ni. So, 3D orbital. Okay. So, macam ni case 3D orbital. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kita akan still ikut apa? What principle is applied here? What Hans what rule and Pauli exclusion principle. Betul. So, we will use and Hans dengan Pauli sajalah kat sini. Kita tak guna Afbau sebab dia dah cakap siap-siap 3D orbital. Kita bukannya tengah membezakan the energy of orbital. Okay. Ini untuk membezakan energy of orbitals. So Hansu maksudnya dia akan fill in singly first baru dia pair up Macam ni 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, singly first and then you pair up okay. Kalau awak buat Awak langgar Hansu maksudnya awak awak tulis macam ni Awak fill in the second electron dalam orbital yang sama So tu langgar Hansu okay. So poly exclusion principle awak dah tahu lah saya dah cakap tadi Next, number nine. What is or are the possible values of magnetic quantum number of an atomic orbital having quantum number n is equal to 5 and l equals to 4? What are the possible? 
Two and three. Two and three. Maksudnya ni aku nak buat apa? N equals to five. L equals to four. So your L is equal to negative four until four. Four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. Okay, so betul. Two and three. Tak ada five kan? Okay, an element Z has an electronic configuration as follows. Which of the following statement is or are true? Okay, so ni macam um, periodic table ni soalan. Tapi tak apa, let's do it. Two and three. Two and three jawapan Two awal. and three. Okay, so the first one kita check dulu lah. Kita check each statement. Kita kata element is in D block. D block. Okay, how do you know this element is in which block? You will look at the last electron field in which um, orbital. So in this case, your last yeah. electron is in 4p orbital. That means that this electron, electron block, this element Z is located in the p block. So statement ni salah lah. Element tends to form Z minus. Okay. Yes. And yes. Oh. Why? Because, because it needs electron to achieve stable electron arrangement. Okay, betul. So, this element Z tends to form Z minus. Okay, dia tambah satu electron in the 4p orbital so that you can number of electron tu jadi 4s2, 4p6. So in this case, dia akan achieve the stable offset electron configuration. Okay, dia nak jadi more stable. Okay. Element is in period 4 of the periodic table. Okay, ini yeah. awak tahu dari yeah. mana? Ini awak tahu dari mana? Yes. Kenapa? Dia dari dari electron arrangement dia. Okay. Uh, which quantum number? Four. And four. Okay, so it is n equals to four. Okay. Four. So energy level is um, will actually tell the period of your element. You do dalam element tu. You do dalam periodic table. You located the kind period mana. Mana, row mana. So when n is equal to 4, that means that your element is in period 4. Okay. Alright, are we done? Yay, we're done. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Alright. Without any ah, uh, what do we call this? Loss of connection. So I am glad. I always study the but yeah, so we done. Okay, do you have any questions? No. 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 Pas lata, ada satu jam empat puluh minit. Takkanlah tak faham lagi. Tapi kalau tak faham, tak apa. Boleh tanya saya. Okay. Boleh tanya saya, boleh tanya kawan awak. Okay, so make sure that you uh, master this chapter already okay, because dia masuk dalam okay, U P S. UPS okay so UPS awak will be next week right Saturday 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 so if you have any problems um apa jawab UPS on that day please let me Arrange another time. Tapi janganlah, janganlah buat macam tu sebab awak nak jawab um, lambat. Sebab tak semestinya awak akan dapat tu kalau awak jawab lambat kan? Betul tak? Okay. So make sure study for UPS and 
Another thing I want to say is, I think, oh, uh, I will give you guys a link for you to answer, like, an ev evaluation form for me as your lecturer. Okay? And then he is out loud that link is there where you get that link. Right? So, if we don't have any more issues or whatever, okay, I think we can stop here our class. So, thank you everyone. And make sure to pass to submit your tutorial um, tonight. Okay? That's all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank miss. you, Miss. Bye -bye. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Bye bye. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Alright. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss.